Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hard to Find 4 as we are playing with Germany. Oh man, so the kids are in bed. I'm ready to do some gaming, guys. So, God, they, they drive me crazy because uh, it's, it's summertime. So, you know, they've been home and they've been driving each other crazy, uh, which of course then affects me because <laughs> they are fighting all the time. They've just been home too long, uh, you know, summertime. It's it's almost over. So, yeah, they're driving each other crazy and it's... it's uh, Driving me in off the wall here. <laughs> so, really pleased that they're in bed right about now. They've been fighting all day. That's the only reason why I'm talking about it. I know you guys don't care about daddy stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'll shut up now and get started. But, yeah, it's just been uh, ah, it's been one of those nights. Um, so, we are building up for the conflict with the Soviet Union, uh, which we're currently working on getting the national focuses for so that we can get, the, uh, get ourselves a war goal against them because... Otherwise, we're never, ever going to get one. You know what? We could be sending it. Yeah, damn, I don't know why I didn't do that. I always forget we have that ability to do that. Well, we'll go ahead and do something about this artillery upgrade first. Um, just continue research on artillery, I guess. Uh, also, if you notice that this popped up, that's going to have made this so we get a notification of this every time. Uh, currently, it's it's focusing on our capital right now. So you can see we only have a total of four slots still locked on our capital. So we're going to get that, and this should make it so that we only have three slots. There we go. Uh, it only does it in 100% locations, by the way. Uh, so that's how that works. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to want to send... Oh, that is a very loud plane, guys. Sorry about that. Um, and we can't invite them to the faction, of course, because they're already in a faction. Um, but yeah, what I, I want to go ahead and do, guys, is I want to send them a... Uh, send an attach a... I know I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but that will uh, cost us a little bit. But I think it's worth it since we're not, we're not really in the conflict and we're not really using our uh, political power for anything. And this is largely beneficial to us. So this is going to give us... a. Uh, uh, some of their uh, army experience. So that's that would have been extremely helpful to have a while back. In fact, we can actually make an adjustment to our divisions now. Uh, still need names for this. I haven't read you guys' comments on that one just yet because uh, I am recording them back to back. I haven't had to do that because of work and I'm kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of a mess right now at work. Um, I don't really have uh, the dedicated hours I had before. So Tanu Tuva issues diplomatic protests. Tuva and Envoys have launched a strong diplomatic protest with our government regarding the presence of our attaches and nations they are currently military. Okay, so they demand the immediate... Why would I... I don't give a shit. I do not care. How is this... How is this little itty-bitty tiny country going to make demands of me? Um, no, we'll send them where we please. I don't care what your issue is. Perhaps because they had a higher relation with us and that's why... Yeah, I don't know. But they are irritated. Uh, so we can kind of see what's going on with the war now, which is nice. We can see what they've been doing. Uh... Yeah, that's awesome. And yeah, we should generate a lot more experience from it as well. Uh, so yeah, we are, you can already see how that's end up going, how that's going right now. It's going very well. Let's go ahead and change these up again. Uh, we're going to be changing up over two mediums. We're just going to do them as we get the experience. Uh, might as well. All right, and then that can we can also take a look at how see how that's affecting our production issues. I prefer looking in here because I like just getting these flat red numbers and being able to see. Oh, this is. We need this. Uh, so we already put in a lot of factories towards mechanized. Um, medium tanks is still pretty bad. Uh, but mainly what I want to look at is the tank destroyers and self-propelled. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more self-propelled artillery there. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's pull from the light tank destroyers. That'll give us one free factory. Uh, and I'm sure that's already going to go somewhere. We already have it assigned. And then we're going to want to put into a bit more into the medium self-propelled artillery. I think we're going to need that. Still building a ton of fighters in, in a close air support, trying to get that Air Force build up uh, in preparation for this war. Um, we could go ahead and start uh, placing some of those now. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Oh, first, we'll have to deal with this research here. Uh, and get the next line. Uh, and change these up, of course. There we go. All right, so yeah, we can go ahead and put some planes over here now. Uh, in fact, I don't think we're going to have large enough air bases, but let's just see what we have available for ourselves before we get all crazy with it. Uh, and this is going to be a constant issue. This is why I always pause everything when I do anything, because you always have stuff popping up, especially when you're on speed five uh, and you can't really get anything done. Um, so let's go ahead and... Okay, we are in 1942. Excellent. So let's go and start working on 1942 text then. All right, the time is just flying by because we haven't had no conflict yet. It's 1942 and we've had... Civil War and one little tiny war against Romania. Uh, this has been the most peaceful series I've ever done, probably. Uh, so yeah, we want to get planes going. Um, let's go ahead and do that now. In fact, let's just wait, just in case. I want to get to the point where we're ready to go to war. Uh, I would hate for us to to put all these planes and spend time doing that and have it paused or whatever while we do that. 
just to not even be in the conflict and I could have done that off camera. Uh, so we've still got another research bonus. So we're going to continue down this uh, as long as we have research bonuses or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll go ahead and start working on something else now before we go to that split uh, because I know there are quite a few things we still need to get uh, now that we have the 1942 text unlocked. Uh, how are we doing on getting these troops trained up? All right, still got a, a while left to go. Uh, I think that just, yeah. All right, we're going to have to rebuild the infantry line again. I have to continually do this bullshit because I'm not uh, paying attention to it. I'm not paying attention to it. That's my bad. I guess we didn't have to move them up here. It's not really that important. Let's just get a few more. I, I kind of feel like we're in a pretty good position when it comes to infantry right now. But, yeah, we have a nice stockpile of a lot of this equipment. It looks like infantry equipment is what we're lacking. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and what? Yeah, we'll just build one. It's, it's fine. I think this will be enough, anyways, uh, for what we're trying to do. Uh, and then I think we're gonna be focused on larger than tanks after that because we need a lot more tanks, guys. Um, so, oh, I didn't even get the chief of air force yet. Oh, because we were waiting on that, but we do have it now. So a lot of stuff happened here, important stuff that you can see. Uh, we'll deal with that here in a second. Um, but yeah, let's go and get these. I, I didn't even realize that we had these. Uh, done. Uh, that's right. We got the air innovations, which didn't unlock the all weather guy, which is the guy we were waiting on. I uh, can't get him because it's fascist, like obviously Hermit Goring, so let's hit on Grime. Uh, and then I think we also unlocked the thing we we're waiting on here, and I just didn't get it. I don't think it would have been beneficial to us. I don't think we were, like, losing out on it. Okay, it's the Fortification Engineer, and we can't get that yet. That's right, we didn't get it yet. I'm surprised we haven't got that yet. We probably should. <laughs> all right. So we're going to want to get that soon. Um, all right, what all happened here? All right, so the... Let's get this. One thing at a time, guys. Um, I'm not going to be able to get anything here. I can't see shit. All right, we'll have to wait to get that. So the United Kingdom just declared war on Belgium. Very interesting development. Of course, Germany announces anti-Soviet pact. We know about that. That's formalizing that treaty there. Uh, and then the Hungarian bomber competition. This is always a little funny event here. The Hungarian Air Force is currently holding trials for new light bombers. According to our Air Attache, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Hungarian government is ex expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale to go through? We got some loud, broke-ass vehicle going by. Somebody needs to get their damn car fixed. Sounds like shit. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with uh, helping them out. Absolutely. This gives us experience, which we like experience. All right, so we've, we're done. Well, now we have 1942 unlocks. Uh, done, but we're not going to get those just yet. Oops. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the... God damn, why will not let me... Grab anything. We're gonna go and get the, the amateur equipment. In. Obviously, that's one of the priorities anytime. God, I'm really tempted to go for the west wall now, just so we unlock that. Uh, plus, that gives all those fortifications over there on the French border, which would obviously be quite useful in case uh, the French got uh, jumpity. Okay. Hmm. That's 140 days away. Okay. We'll just have to get it after. Yeah, we got to do this. We got to tackle the combat threat. I need to get that war goal as soon as we can. Uh, so yeah, we won't be able to get that just yet. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait. Okay, so um, let's take a look. Has anybody done training? Nobody is yet. All right, and uh, yeah, they'll quickly conquer Belgium. That's not going to take them any time at all. That does mean we'll have to increase our front, or we we'll have to change the front, actually. Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to have to create a new front here. Uh, what we'll do is let's just create, like... Um, just a couple units over here. I'll just throw the same. Uh, we'll just throw this army over there. It's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's do five divisions over there. And we'll give them a, a front, too. Just so they make sure they keep a planning bonus. All right. So, yeah. The the allies are uh, just declaring war on people just because they have a little bit of fascist support in their country. And they want to take the moral high ground. How dare they? We're over here with a, a great amazing monarchy and they want to claim themselves superior to us with their democracy that attacks innocent people it's disgust me absolutely disgust me guys so let's go ahead and oh we're done here nice okay so i don't know that we're gonna go for heavy tanks probably not guys i don't, I don't tend to do i know we did our last german one uh and i did it just for role play purposes but really there's just no reason to get it uh they're kind of in there I, I just don't like them and i've already discussed this plenty of times before so i won't go over it any further why I don't like them, because you guys are well aware. And I think it's become kind of general knowledge that a lot of people don't like uh, heavy tanks because of their uh, issues. So the Democratic Party, the Catholic bloc, have been putting powder in Belgium. Wow. And it looks like they also freed uh, their African. Yep. 
They're free. Alright. So, I can't believe they did that. You rarely ever see Britain actually use those. They get that national focus, and you rarely see them actually attack them. Uh, but they did this time. Uh, they're not part of a faction or anything, though. Uh, you would think that they would hate the allies now because of that, but no. And look at this. They still have support here for 13% support for fascism. It looks like communism actually got stronger there because of that war. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what they accomplished there. I couldn't tell you. Looks like they uh, kind of just screwed themselves over. Um, but I guess they got to have a fun war, so I can't, can't call them out too much because I would kill for a fun war right now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put these guys over... You know, we, we have a lot of troops over here. Uh, what I think we need to do is is build this out a bit more. How many troops do we have? We have 10 here. So we're just going to go ahead and get it full is what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's just fill this this thing up here. Let's get the full nine over there. Uh, and then we'll place the last one over there into that orange army. All right, excellent. So the orange army is the only one that's not full right now. Of course, our western front is not looking great at the moment. Looks like we just finished up a tank unit too. We're gonna throw this into that blue army. Blue army's looking all right. Uh, should have some uh, large number of tanks over there. We got the improved artillery upgrade twos, which is excellent. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, the next artilleries. And yeah, I guess we're uh, just waiting. Until we get this national focus. Will we declare war immediately? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, common shiny issues diplomatic protest. Uh, no, I don't I don't care. I don't care. Look at all that experience we're getting. I haven't been using it either. Well, let's go ahead and change that up, guys. Um, and I don't think we're going to get any more light tanks. We're kind of deep on the light tanks right now. Um, I mean, I know that we have... I guess we can get, like, two more. I just don't want to invest too much in light tanks because I really want to get the uh, medium tanks pumped out. Uh, we're going to need more of those. All right, um, what we're doing? Oh yes, medium tanks. We're gonna make some adjustments here. Uh, we need to finish up their design. Get them that light self-propelled, or the medium self-propelled artillery. And I think we got everybody. In fact, I believe we are now done here. Yes, that we are. All right, so this looks good. Uh, I like it. Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, do we wanna make any adjustments here with the experience that we have? I guess we could. We got recon, engineers, support artillery, field hospitals, logistics. Uh, maintenance would probably be a good good thing to get here. Maybe instead of artillery? Yeah, I think we're gonna do maintenance instead of artillery, guys. Maintenance company. Alright. Excellent. I think that'll help a lot. Alright, so that'll change up a few things. Uh, we're gonna take a look at our stockpiles and see how, how things are going. Uh, Anti-tanks are stacked up. Good god. Uh, I hope we don't have too many factories going towards that. Oh, uh, we do. Alright, we can go and pull from that then. We can actually just put one in there. That's fine. Uh, we are stacked up on the an anti-tanks. Uh, as far as our chili goes, we're also stacked up on that, especially now that we made that adjustment there. We can actually go ahead and pull from these as well. Uh, and infantry equipment still needs a lot. Motorized is looking much better than it did before. All right, so we now know what the situation is. Let's go ahead and get the infantry equipment stockpiled. We got to get something done there. This is just not a good situation overall. Uh, and we can also do more medium tanks. I think we should probably do that, like fill it out, fill it all the way out for the medium tanks. Uh, I think artillery is doing okay. Let me just see here. Motorized, that's what we're pulling from. Let's pull from the motorized a bit as well. And let's just go and go to five times on all these these things that are already filled up here. That makes sense. All right, just make it look cleaner, I suppose. I suppose. Um, so that looks good. And we have a couple more factories to get assigned. I'm really tempted to do more into the Air Force, honestly. Uh, because I know that we're going to need them. Um, we're going to need a lot a lot more planes than what we have. Uh, let's do, let's see what we're shortest on right now. Okay, light tanks, hurting pretty bad on that, but we're going to be starting pulling down on that, so I don't want to put any more into that. Uh, I guess we're going to do mechanized uh, and medium tanks. Okay, that's what we'll do. Where are my mechanized? Let's do five into that, and then we're going to do uh, five into that. Let's keep our factories uh, pumping into stuff so we don't have to mess with it. Uh, although, I don't know how we're doing. Oh, nice. We're almost done with this. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and... How are we doing on our resource situation? Yeah, we're trading for too much. Let's go and pull this back a bit. All right, lovely. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get prepared for the conflict here. Do we have the air bases we need? I mean, over here we do. Over here we clearly do not, though. So let's go ahead and pump in uh, some more... Um, Get some more of them, over, uh, of them over here. Let's do like eight, I suppose. I think that'll look nice. I don't know if we'll need that many. 
I don't know. I don't think we'll have that many planes. All right, so we're done with our research bonuses over here, which is good because we got a lot of stuff that we need to get, guys. Uh, we need to get. All right, we already got that going. Uh, we do need to start working on atomic research here eventually. We do have some nice research bonuses there, but I think I was waiting to get that national focus on those. Uh, and besides, there's so much other stuff we could be working on that it's not that big of an issue. Still need to get that. Uh, Anti tanks need to be got, but I'm gonna wait on that one as well. And we're working on support. Okay, looking pretty good. I guess we're gonna go ahead and grab up the yeah. Let's let's grab up the bonuses for the infantry. Uh, that'll be immediately helpful. And we've got the tackle the communist threat national focus done. Excellent news. Let's go ahead and get um, something else selected here. Uh, the Iberian problems that we could go to to war with Spain if we wanted to. We're not gonna do that though. Not yet, anyways. Um, instead, we're gonna go with the West Wall, try and secure our Western Front. Okay, I'm thinking like a May declaration would be best. They have no troops over here, so we're gonna run right through them. Actually, we should probably just declare war now. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We don't want to give them any more time now that we have the focus. Let's go and bring that down. Uh, let's go and get some planes going. I'm glad that I waited, though, because uh, I didn't know that we were going to be be at this position. Uh, so we don't need to build as many of these because we're not going to have time. So let's just build a few. And let's go and get our planes placed. Yeah, they're not even going to be able to reach over here, in fact. There's no reason to build anything there, actually. Yeah, because we will probably take a ton of land. So, let's go ahead and get some, some uh, air wings going. Uh, we're going to do just large air wings for right now, just because I don't want to mess with it. Um, and how many planes do we have? All right, so we have about 2,000 fighters. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is probably like 800 here. Oh, no, 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 we want the fighter twos over here. 800 here. And then we'll do... Um, Close air support over here. And we'll do probably a similar number, is what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna see how many we have. Yeah, we have quite a few. Let's go ahead and do all of those. And just like so. Get yeah, it, baby. Ah, fuck. That's fine. We'll just fix it over here. Alright, and so we have these guys. They're gonna work there. Once they get here, we'll, we'll work on splitting them. It's not a priority though. Uh, so we'll get them going into Western Poland. Uh, and then we need to put some planes on over to here. We're not gonna be able to fit very many, unfortunately, because yeah, we just don't have the room. That's all right. That's okay. It does require a little bit more work on our part though. Uh, do we have any fighter twos? We do. Let's gonna move them over here. Uh, and I don't know how many we'll be able to get placed um, here in Ukraine. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Uh, I know that we're only gonna be, because we have some of our allies have planes here, which kind of ruin in the numbers here. So that's that's unfortunate, but they, you know they're going to be placing. Uh, if we place any more, you know they're going to overstaff us real bad. They'll probably overstaff us anyway as soon as the war starts. So instead, we're going to place them over here. Uh, we'll do 200 close air support and 200 fighters. Um, and in fact, let's go ahead and do another air wing of fighters. Uh, we can't really fit. Well, we could actually do close air support here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, yeah, that'll work out well. Let's go ahead and change this up. Let's have, we just want these guys selected. And let's get all these guys over there as well. And I believe we should be 600 and 600. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and place some planes over here to get them going to these areas as well. Just so we get that nice bonus. We're gonna want some fighters over there. Uh, and we're gonna place our naval bombers over here too. All right, so they don't have enough for a full air wing. It's okay. All right, so we're gonna want, we do have a nice size air base here, so that's really, really good. Uh, let's go ahead and place another 200. And yeah, we'll want another one as well. Um, you know what, let's do one more here. Uh, I think we should have the room. Yeah, let's do one more. Oops. One more air wing of fighters, and then the rest will be close air support. And since we don't have a huge amount of planes like we usually do, this is actually a little bit easier to do than it often tends to be. Uh, so we just got to the limit, so that's great. What we're gonna wanna do is let's just split these, uh, have these two go, or these three go over here, and then the rest of them go over here. All right, looking good, guys. I believe that's pretty much everything we have. I mean, we have, uh, we could put another Group of fighters out there but it's fine for right now in fact if we did put fighters we would want to put them in here yeah that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to place them into the baltic sea i think that'd be the wisest place to place them uh, so we're going to do a air wing of fighters and an air wing of naval bombers 
and let's get them going over there now. And then we need uh, naval bombers. How many naval bombers do we need, though? How many should we place? Well, let's do... We're not at war with the allies yet, so let's just devote all of our... Uh, or a good chunk of our naval bombers over here, I think. Yeah, let's, let's do that, guys. Might as well. There's nowhere else that they can really fight. I suppose we can also put bombers in the Black Sea, but we don't really have a... Yeah, we don't really have a base to do that at the moment. Not really. Let's wait till we push forward here and then we get uh, air base opened up. Uh, but we won't place all of them over here solely for that reason. Uh, so we'll have... This is 400 is plenty enough anyways, guys. It's more than enough. All right, so looking good. Um, I think we are all set up air-wise. Uh, is there anything else that we need to do? Not that I am thinking of. We could make some more adjustments to our divisions. I th I believe we're done with the medium tanks, so we need to mess with them any longer. Uh, really, all we need to mess with is the uh, the, the uh, Jaegers. Jaegers. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody else that I'd rather do. I know we want to get the paratroopers eventually. Let's get the mountain troops first, though. I think that'd be wise. We don't have... We're only going to do 20 with, with these guys just because of the special forces uh, limit. When you do any larger than that, it just uh, it's just too much on your on your uh, special forces limit, and you can't get you can hardly get any of these if you do that. Oh, uh, and we can't even fully build this out, anyways. Yeah, we just don't have the experience. All right, well we did what we could. We're about to get a ton more experience because we're going to war with the Soviet Union, guys. So I'm excited to hop into this. Let's make sure that we have everything set up. We never did get our blue army set up because uh, I wasn't expecting to go to war immediately. Um, but yeah, now that. Uh, yeah, now that it's wide open, we're definitely going to do that. So what I'm going to do here, let me just see how's the best way to do this. We're going to send these guys. Huh, I wonder if they could get across there in time. Yeah. Okay, I know what we're going to do. I got an idea. Let's go and have these guys pull back. And then the blue army is going to go here. Rather than putting them in the sea, let's just have them quickly take this land real quick. And then come over here and start pushing forward on this side towards Leningrad. That's what I want them to do. I want them to focus on a rapid, uh, rapid movement towards Leningrad. Let's put all of them on that front. Uh, we'll give them a little planning bonus, though they won't get one. All right. So let's just wait until wait until the first of May. Give them a little bit of time to get onto their fronts and move around a bit. I know that's not going to be enough time. And we'll attack early in the morning here, right while the Soviets are eating their breakfast. Uh, damn, we don't have our sure. tanks anywhere near close to being over there just yet. All right, well, these guys could always wrap it up. We can just wait. It's fine. All right, so let's go and declare war. I want, I want to get this started. Uh, let's do it, guys. All right, so we're going to declare war. We're going we're gonna to bring in our allies, um, and hopefully this goes well. The Soviets look like they are very, very distracted at the moment. Uh, emergency factory conversion. Don't want to do that. And war bonds. I don't... Well, hmm. War bonds, more resources for more war. Okay. I guess we could do this. Sure. Why not? Make it, uh, make our factories a little bit, our civilian factories a little bit more efficient uh, initially. All right. So let's go ahead and get our troops moving. We're going to have the uh, Purple Army. We're going to have a lot of these armies kind of control themselves. Uh, we need to give uh, generals as well. We didn't do that yet. That's my bad. Um, I thought we had already done that, but we had not. So let's going to take care of that now. All right. So the Purple Army, we're going to be giving them pawn. Paul von Leto Vorbeck. Uh, he's got that jungle rat trait, which I know there's no jungles over here, but <laughs> you gotta love his, you gotta love his hat, man. It's great. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, have him command them, because I, I gotta get him into combat. You can't just let him sit on the sidelines. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so movement bonus on land, hell yeah, let's get that. Uh, so they're gonna be very, very rapid, which is great. Uh, I think that'll help them out on this side of things. Uh, and the orange army, we're gonna be giving them. Uh, just kind of scroll through here and see who we want to give them. Um, I think we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do Erwin Von Wittelsbin. He's got a good attack rating from what I'm seeing here, and he's got that infantry officer trait. Of course, we got a blue army. It needs a commander as well, and we already know who we're giving them, of course. Of course, our best tank commander that we have. I scrolled right the fuck past him. Uh, he's got some fantastic traits uh, for leading the troops. Even if his attack's a little bit low, I think it's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the Panzer Expert. Let me just kind of scroll through here and see if uh, there's anything else that he has available. Um, yeah, we're going to give him the uh, Panzer Expert. And does he have any more? He does not. 
All right, so he's going to operate quite efficiently. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tell the purple army here to command themselves and just attack. Uh, and, yeah, just go along that front. That's absolutely fine, the one that we have you assigned to. Uh, red army, same thing. I don't know that we'll leave them in command of this, like, permanently. Um, this is just for right now, guys. Uh, just for right now, until they actually have to fight troops. Because as of right now, there's not anybody to resist us, really. Uh, so we should be able to uh, just kind of move through here without any any trouble. Um, did we ever finish training these guys up? It just sucks we don't have any of our medium tanks yet. Oh, we never did. Okay, that was my bad. I messed up the uh, battle cruisers. We never did tell them to go to a specific port. So let's go and fix that. Go here, my friends. Gonna move over there now. Get that fleet built up. I don't know if we'll put our trips, uh, our ships out there. Let's take a look at their navy and see if that's something we want to do. Uh, remember, they're going to largely have submarines. They have 55 to 57 compared to our 53. So similar sized navies, but I bet theirs are much more outdated. Uh, they have nowhere near as dockyards, as many dockyards as we do. And I bet most of those are submarines. So we probably can dominate uh, here. So we, we might throw our fleet out there, which means we're going to want to give them a commander because we haven't done that yet either. So let's go and give them an admiral. Um, yeah, Austria-Hungary came in the war as expected, as has Italy and Bohemia. All right, so let's give him a commander. Uh, we're going to do, well, we're not going to need sea wolves at all. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter uh, who gets that. Uh, you know, I'd prefer to just have the, yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, what? we're going to do the blockade runner um, for our main army. I know that there's a the bonus here. But he'll eventually get to there, and Blockade Runner is not an easy trait to get, and it can be extremely useful when your navy is losing. So we're going to do that, because uh, I noticed that the Admirals seem to have diff difficulty getting those. Uh, we can go ahead and just manually control these guys, because they're not attacking. And In fact, we know what we need to do. We need to make sure that everybody's on an aggressive, uh, because, yeah, they're just not going to attack quick enough otherwise. In fact, we can move them over to here. Uh, these guys can are also not going to be able to defend, so let's put them over here into our under-offensive uh, Field Marshal. Uh, did he already get... No, he doesn't. He's just got the Gorilla Fighter. Okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and put them onto Aggressive 2. Just for now. I'll try to remember to fix it. Uh, I'll probably forget. And it'll fuck everything up, but it's fine. Alright, so yeah, we want these guys to advance right. rapidly. I need you to take territory, like, stat. Um, you guys should all, right. all be pushing the front forward. If you're not, you're fucking up. Uh, so you guys are gonna go ahead and cut these guys off here now. And you guys go that way, you guys go that way. This sucks I gotta manually do this. So this is not desirable, but whatever. Alright, so they're going over there. Anybody not currently attacking? Yes, everybody's not attacking. Alright, you guys gonna attack. Uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead and attack that way, I guess. Uh, and let's take a look at the Red Army, make sure that they're all attacking. They are not, of course. God damn them. <laughs> come on, guys. Attack. I know we just told them, but like, come on. We, we've gotta move much more rapidly than this. If we want to get some territory, I want you guys actually coming this way instead. Yeah, let's just have the tanks move across the uh, easier territory. Grab up some of these key victory points before the Soviets get over here because you know they're going to be pumping their divisions over here probably relatively soon. I'm going to keep them attacked across the river. I'm absolutely fine with that. Come on, just go and attack. We're going to have to manually control this even though we have them set to control themselves. They're not going to do it quick enough. That means we're going to have to pause a lot, but I need as much land as possible, guys, um, before uh, the Soviets get over here, because they're going to be here soon. It's not going to take them long to pump troops over here. I, I already know that for a fact, that it's not going to take them very long. And Mongolia has been called into the war, as expected. All right. Move, tanks, move. You guys come on over here. Uh, we want you guys to rush to Warsaw. In fact, you guys can go ahead and go that way instead. You guys come on over here. All right, these guys are not advancing. Anytime I see troops that aren't advancing, I'm going to pause it to make sure that they move and don't waste any time in doing so. I'm going to grab that province and that one, sir. So. Attack. Actually, I want you guys to attack. They continue engaging the cavalry at all times there. Uh, and there we go. Took that front already. These guys are really, really fast. That's nice. Good to see that they're moving rapidly. Uh, let's go and attack here, here, and right here. All right, gonna get ourselves that nice airbase there. Uh, let's go ahead and just have those guys attack stat. And they're attacking over there. There we go. Let's go and continue having. And these guys push forward. How about the Red Army? Is everybody pushing forward on the Red Army? No, not yet. Why don't you guys go grab that province for me? All right, you guys, instead of whatever you're doing. I know they're about to get it, but it's fine. I want them to move forward. We have reconnected these lands, which is excellent. Let's go and attack right there as well. Uh, and everybody needs to push forward. Alright, let's have these guys just rush on over here. 
So a lot of Soviet troops, I think, are going to get caught uh, in the back, uh, which is excellent news. Uh, they are both moving to different provinces, which is good. That's exactly what I need you guys to do. All right, looking good. Uh, you guys can go and attack. Um, whoever's not attacking, attack. All right. Um, can also have these guys advance. What we just need to do is just close this up here, try and get to uh, Riga as quickly as possible. Okay, Communist China has a course to join. That's not surprising at all, not the least. Need to get those blue army troops over there over here. God damn. All right, my bad, guys. I didn't see that. Yeah, they need to grab this land up quickly. Come on, push forward. Uh, and you guys can push forward as well. And you guys can wipe them out. And then we'll be able to get all of our troops over here onto this red front. Everybody needs to attack now. Come on, come on. Get moving forward. All right, so they're going over that way. We're going to have them rush over there towards that city, that victory point. Not that victory points matter over here. Start Lend Lease. Hell yeah, I'll take your Lend Lease. Uh, you guys are going to go ahead and march straight over there, in fact. Just go over there and get the, grab that for us now. Uh, we'll try and get behind these cavalry units. We're going to have you guys then march over this way. Um, they're already attacking over that way. Excellent. All right, looking pretty good. I feel confident over how much land we're going to be getting um, before the Soviets get here. I like this. I think this is going to work out very nicely. We're going to have these guys double stacking on where they're attacking. Because I'm missing a lot of stuff. Where we could be uh, taking territory. Come on, push forward. Um, over here, we got troops that are just standing around. Dicking around. Come on, let's go. Uh, we did get some uh, military factories and some dockyards. So let's go and get those assigned now. Uh, we are going to do... Oh, I think we should do some more into the light cruisers. I don't really feel good about the the ratio of capital ships to um, our, uh, our... God, what am I trying to say here? Our fucking screens, if I can talk today. Uh, we should go and take a look at stockpile situations. Infantry equipment's looking okay. Mechanized, light tank, medium tank. Yeah, it's all the, the, the same offenders uh, that we're behind on. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue working on these. Uh, we will do 20 into the light tanks. Let's do 25 into the mechanized. And we will also pump more into the infantry equipment. Because I don't like where we stand on that one. I, would, I want that far more stockpiled than it actually is at the moment. Uh, oil is now becoming a problem. Okay, as we get these factories, we're going to see this be more and more of an issue until we take some of that good old Soviet oil over here. Uh, so we're going to definitely want to try and get that. Let's go ahead and have you guys attack across here. Push to Kiev. I can't believe we're going to get Kiev with no resistance. Wow. So this is the great mighty Soviet Union. Yep. <laughs> no, come on over. Just go straight over there, guys. Uh, and I know that this is kind of getting messed up here. Um, but that's fine. Come on over this front, guys. Come on over here. All right, so I'm going to come over here, and you guys can just go take that territory for us. Uh, and then this blue army here. Let's just go and get the entire blue army. Moving over here now, they are connected. We could be moving so much quicker, too. Uh, and then we're going to have them all signed there. And just beeline your asses over here. Uh, I'll probably manually control that shit. I don't know. Uh, just go and aggressive. All right. Uh, so slowly getting this wrapped up. Any troops that are not attacking? Yes, there are. There's plenty of troops that are not attacking. A uh, whole bunch of them that just aren't doing nothing. Putting on aggressive isn't enough to get them taking territory as quickly as we would like, uh, which is why we had to manually control it. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm, I'm, how many factories we're getting is amazing. It's great. It's going to be incredibly helpful. Let's go ahead and tick these on over to five. Put five into there. You know we're going to need those eventually. Um, let's do five. Five into the artillery there. Uh, and then the... I just think we're going to keep doing into the mechanized because the mechanized is really short, uh, as is the, what is it, the, oh, the light tanks. I was going to say medium tanks. All right. So medium self-propelled artillery could also use a bit more. All right. So we'll do medium self-propelled artillery, and we're going to do, I don't think we're going to do any more light tanks, actually. I think this is fine. Yeah, 20 into light tanks will work. Uh, and, yep, more That's units just sitting around. Just attack. Just fucking attack everybody. I don't care. Um, and you guys should all be... It looks like we have some trying to leave. Why don't you guys have an attack? Okay, they have to go that way. Never mind. All right, well, that works then. Uh, let's go and have you guys move forward here. You guys move that way. Uh, we'll have these guys here wrap this up so they can just focus on taking that territory there. Tank's currently about to grab that province up, which is nice. Um, yeah, they still haven't pumped anybody over here. No real commitment yet on getting us defeated. About to get Danzig in our hands. It's great. It's our real goal in the conflict is getting Danzig. It's what we love. All these troops are currently leaving. 
Oh, come on. Everybody needs to come over here. And we'll just have this one infantry unit take that out. And all of you guys, well, it does seem that we're going to need a bit of assistance here. Let's go and have, yeah, we can have them attack there. That's fine. Ace pilot promoted. Excellent news. Let's go and have all you guys coming over here. Apparently, there are a lot of divisions elsewhere. Yeah, all these Red Army divisions here. Get over there, please. Alright, excellent. Getting that knocked out. Seems that we actually have one too many divisions assigned. I'm going to take a while. I guess I pulled one from somewhere. Um, yeah, I clearly probably pulled... Did I, was it a tank division? It wasn't a tank division. It was an infantry division. Uh, I, I probably pulled them from the Orange Army, if I had to guess. Yeah, had to have been the Orange Army. So I'm just going to take one of these guys. It doesn't matter which one. Probably the one down here at the bottom. And throw them in that orange front there. Because we're getting a nice little penalty. You know, we love penalties. Uh, so let's grab that province up. Also, I don't know what uh, uh, your guys' reception was to me talking about the death head thing, because as I said, I haven't watched that yet. Um, but yeah, I just want to just make it clear, though. That, yeah, I don't agree with the idea that Nazis get to take everything. Everything that's cool. If the Nazis used it, you can't have it. That's why I feel kind of passionate about it. It just doesn't make any damn sense. Like, I understand the swastika being associated with them. That makes perfect sense. Obviously, that's a Nazi symbol now. It wasn't always, but it is now, and you can't really argue differently anymore. That's just the way it is, guys. Um... You know, the Iron Cross is another one that, you know, it shouldn't be associated with them, but it is now, and that's just the way it is. And there's no really changing that. Why add more stuff to it? The Death Head, nobody associates the Death Head with. With that, I mean, if anything, they associate it with pirates more than anything. So why are we trying to, like, take more stuff uh, from, you know, everybody else being able to use just for the damn Nazis? Nah. I don't use Expeditionary Forces, guys, and, and I always have to mention this because people ask why. Uh, so essentially, there's a, a issue, uh, and that, as far as I know, has not been fixed, where the divisions that you get from other countries, like Expeditionary Forces or anything, even if you get them from your puppets or whatever it is, they use the manpower for reinforcements, you know, and obviously not the initial manpower cost to uh, build them, and that includes in your uh, puppets' lands, you can build troops in their lands or build troops from their designs or whatever uh, without costing your own manpower. However, when it comes to reinforcements, it does use the manpower from you. Now, why your troops, German troops, go fight into the Italian divisions under the Italian commanders? Yeah, uh, doesn't exactly make sense, but whatever. That is, and then, of course, they're going to go back to Italy if Italy asks for their expedition forces back. Uh, but that's the way it is, guys, and as far as I know, it hasn't been fixed. Uh, so that's why I don't take expedition forces, because their division designs are terrible, and I've had, had some massive issues by using them uh, where we just take insane casualties because the division designs are just so shoddy. They're just really, really bad. How about you guys attack over here first? Is there any troops just standing around? I cannot tolerate troops not not moving. Now, Kiev has already fallen. Wow, guys. This is... I don't even know what to say because this is supposed to be our main conflict. Obviously, we have the conflict, the allies as well, so I'm not saying we don't have any other conflict. Uh, but this is our main one um, for the initial early game here, and they're not providing any challenge right now. So that's, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say that's a bit frustrating. We need more convoys. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we're getting to conquer them quickly. I mean, it's nice and all, but yeah, it just feels like we're being cheated of a challenge here. Uh, we will trade, oh, well, it's going to re result in them probably revolting on us. I suppose we can trade with the Japanese. Can we get... Oh, yeah, we can get full. Excellent. So let's go and trade all of the steel we need with the Japanese. Uh, we'll go and continue trading with the Portuguese. And uh, we actually trade for too much oil. We got some for the Soviets, I imagine. Okay, uh, let's take a look and see how things are going. Let's go make sure these guys are attacking. Soviets are starting to put troops over here. You, you can see we're starting to lose our advantage here. Um, if we don't hurry up and get some goddamn territory... Uh, we, we just got troops just standing around, and that's just not going to fly. You guys have got to attack. I know they're moving between fronts right now, and that's the problem. Uh, it's causing issues for us. But yeah, they've got to move faster. It's just not going to fly. Um, and attack here, yeah, you can see they're all pumping divisions over here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take that division and have him attack as well, just to lock them down. Let's go and attack with that guy as well. And everybody's going to attack over that way too. Okay, anything else? Yeah, we can have all these guys attack. Um, yeah, see, they're just going to be bouncing around provinces if you let them control it. They're just acting like they don't know how to engage in war, man. you got to move the front forward. 
I know you got to cover the whole front, but when there's nobody on the front, just take territory. I wish there was a way to tell them to like not even care about anything. I know, I know it'd probably get players into trouble um, if you did uh, add that to the game. But I wish there was an ability to just be like, I don't really care about if you get cut off or nothing. Just move. Um, like a hyper aggressive stance. I don't know. Just move forward at all cost type of stance. Uh, like I said, I, I know it wouldn't work properly. I know it would be an epic disaster. The Red Army does not have a very large front here, so let's go ahead and change this up. Looks like the Orange Army is doing all the work here for them. Uh, so we're going to change that up. Uh, we'll just go ahead and redraw their lines as well because clearly we've met our goals here. Oops. Let's go ahead and have them extended a bit. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and reduce the Purple Army as well because they got quite the front as well. Basically, the Red Army is just being lazy. They don't want to do nothing. They're not helping. All right, so that looks good. It seems that we do need to do that. All right, let's go and give these guys new fronts. Right. I don't think the Red Army even has a front right now that I know of, so let's give them a new one. Come on, conquer some territory, and let's tell them to go as well. And we're going to stay on aggressive for right now. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Purple Army and delete their current front and give them a new one. Keep on pushing forward. And then we're also going to tell the Orange Army. We're going to give them a new front as well. Since they have pretty much completed their objectives, too. All right, push forward. Uh, Blue Army, they already have a front, so they're good to go. All right, so go ahead and just start attacking, guys. Attack, man. All right, so I know that we need to end the episode here. Uh, it's it's time. Uh, let's have an attack right there. Looks like it should be an easy win against some cavalry troops. Yeah, I'm just have to micromanage the shit out of these guys because they are just not doing anything. Look at all these tanks here just like sitting around like you guys could be rapidly pushing into territory. So let's make it happen, Captain. Uh, and let's take a look at the Purple Army and see how they're doing. Of course, they're not going to be doing what we need them to do. Let's go and attack right there. Have you guys attack over here. Push forward there. And right there. Uh, it looks like we have a non-aggression pack from Poland. Um, no. <laughs> Not agreeing to that, sorry. There's no reason for me to agree to your demands. You are ir irrelevant. All right, we are getting somebody going over there. Excellent. Let's have this tank unit come over here. All right, looking good. Looking very good. Let's cut those divisions off so we can get them destroyed. Uh, you guys need to be attacking this way. All right. Um, so I'm going to take that territory... But yeah, this is just going really, really, really fast. We don't even have air support at the moment because it's just going so rapidly. Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and move some of our, our planes, just make sure that we give them air support. I could, of course, give them to the divisions uh, because it is moving so quick. But you know what? It's not not really a problem. We'll, we'll manage that later. Uh, let's go ahead and place um, some planes over here into the Baltic uh, states. I think those guys were actually already in the Baltic states. So let's go ahead and move them too. Uh, and let's place the rest of them. Oh, Lord, yeah, there's not really anywhere for them to go. And that's, that's the reason why I don't want to do this. They're just going to overstack it if I do that. Uh, they'll just overstack it, and then we'll have too many too many planes over here. We already know that's what's going to happen. So there's no reason to do it. Um, so what we can do, though, is we can move more planes into this area, because clearly we do not have enough over here for what we're trying to do. Move these guys as well. And that will also allow us to open this up to having a bomber, a naval bomber, patrol the Black Sea. So let's go ahead and do that. Have these guys move into there and do some naval strikes. All right, excellent. Try and get that uh, Soviet fleet destroyed. It looks like we actually have been bombing the Soviet fleet. We can actually put our Soviet fleet, or put our fleet out there now. We've got this full bomber support. I don't see any reason not to. And they're sinking our convoy, so I might as well get it done. Uh, let's go ahead and add the battle cruiser to them. And let's put them out there to do some search and destroy missions. All right, excellent. So they'll go ahead and take care of them for us. Uh, and we need to move more planes to this area here. And we have so many over here not doing anything that we might as well move them. All right, so that'll be... Oh, shit. Seems I added a bunch of them, perhaps. Did I add all of them? Because that's what it sure fucking looks like I just did. I don't know. Okay, these ones we never actually split, so that's going to cause issues. Uh, so let's just have them stay here for right now. Let's go ahead and split these uh, because, yeah, this is this is not going to work. This is way too large of uh, air wings. And it's really easy to split them, so... Um, oops. Damn it. I think I messed something up, didn't I? All right, I have no idea what I'm doing, clearly. All right, so let's, I want to reorganize. There we go, and reorganize you as well. 
All right, so that looks much better. Yeah, I think that worked out nice. Um, so we don't need, that's how they got messed up. I was like, how the hell did I get so many damn close air, air support over there? That didn't make any sense. So I'm going to put those guys over there. These two instead are going to be going over to here. Provide a bit of support right there. Uh, over here we have our fighters. We need to do the same thing with them. Just going to split them up. And yeah, this is just so much easier than doing when you have all those damn planes to create the separate air wings. Good God, that takes forever. All right, so 800 and 1,000 over there I think is good. It's going to take these guys, place them over here, uh, provide a bit more support there. Uh, and we could also maybe get a few of our planes here. I know this is probably going to be stacked up here, but let's get them going over here anyways. All right, that looks good. We've managed the planes. I know it kills momentum and shit, uh, but we do have to do it. we got to take care of it. Uh, and actually, the episode's supposed to be over, so this is just you guys getting extra time right now. Uh, and, yeah, they're attacking that way. Excellent. Got them attacking over that way. Uh, you guys are going to... I know that this is not your order, but I want you to attack up that way anyways. I'm going to have them take that province. Come on, man. Go forward. Grab the provinces. Yeah, it's really nice not having to attack all the way across this against enemy resistance. Good God, I mean, we're conquering this very quick. Because of that, I'd like to see how close they are to capitulating as well. I'm kind of curious. Let's go and actually just cut these guys off here. I don't know if our divisions will be able to do it. We do have more coming over there, though. And plus, we have our allies moving to the front as well, so that should get wrapped up pretty soon. Let's go and have these guys uh, assigned to that front and then just move along here. Get all that territory taken for us. All right, any other troops that are just sitting around? Yeah, this guy is. Let's have him attack. Uh, he's just sitting there as well. He needs attack, too. Uh, we can go and have this guy attack. And then you guys are... Hmm. You know what? What if we just race to the back here with multiple tanks? You know what I mean? And then just, like, cut them off. I know that we wouldn't be able to hold it. Like, they would easily be able to uh, break out. I don't know, though. We'll see what happens. No. None of you guys are getting... None of you guys. I'm actually surprised. What's going on here? The communists or something? Oh, Estonia is... I thought they got conquered. Apparently not. I don't know what happened there. Interesting. All right, so let's just keep on paying attention to the front here. Um, sure. You guys are going to be... As soon as you get that, I want you to do march over there. Grab Minsk. Uh, looks like we did have a naval battle over here. Excellent. Sunk uh, quite a few ships. I know they're not, like, amazing ships, but that's that's pretty much what they have. So we're going to see if we can't grab that up. Or we'll, maybe we'll just let them... Yeah, we'll just let them go there. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care that they take that problem or they go to the province they already have. It's absolutely fine. Uh, let's go and have you guys grab some more victory points. Everybody's attacking over here. Nice. Looking very, very good. Uh, tanks, though. This is not looking good. You guys aren't attacking. Let's go. Attack. We're going to attack there. Uh, and just move over to that province. And then you, you are going to come over here and wrap this territory up for us. Okay, so we're getting towards... We're going there, guys. We almost have it. Okay, that is looking great. Let's take a look. Uh, what's going on over here? Sunk three more submarines. Okay, very good news. See, a lot of planes were shot down. Another submarine sunk there. All right, yeah, we're sinking uh, whatever fleet they have. And, yep, yeah, you guys are attacking. That's good. That's what I want to see. Always on the attack, my friends. All right, so we did get these guys cut off. Excellent news. Um, and, yeah, I guess we'll have them wrap that up. They'll grab that city for us. And you guys will grab that, and you will attack there instead of whatever you're doing. I know it's across a river. It's fine. I start caring less and less about it in these kind of situations. Uh, now it's just kind of about, like, just fucking win. Just win, baby. All right, let's go and take that. That is all Raiders. And if you didn't know, I, I'm a Raiders fan. Obviously, the Eagles is my home team. That is my team. Um, but I also like the Raiders. I do like the Raiders. I've liked them for a very long time. I know they've been garbage for a very long time as well, guys. I'm aware. You don't need to tell me. Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. You don't have to tell me about the shitty Raiders. I'm aware. The Eagles, though. Yeah, we're champions, baby. First time in history we've been able to say that shit, so I'm going to say it every chance I get. We are champions, baby. And right, let's go ahead and throw these guys into that army. I remember last time I was talking about football on one of these Hearts of Iron episodes, and somebody was like, oh, I don't. I don't like football. It's like, okay. It's fine. You don't have to like it. <laughs> Lots of people don't. Um, and then I know Europeans are just getting pissed off just for me calling it football. Uh, that's not football. And for me, I understand, like, the, like, because soccer was around before. Uh, so the idea that we're just going to call it, you know, our own sport football, um, yeah, that's kind of odd. Like, there's already a sport with that name. You can't just uh, start calling something um, 
uh, the name of a sport that already exists. Uh, it's, it's pretty weird, guys. I'm aware. But that's what I know it as, guys. You know, I played football in high school. And so, like, that's what I know is football. They can't call anything else football. Uh, I bet both of these guys, yes, they are. Of course, they're both going to the same province. What else would they be doing? All right, everybody's attacking on the purple army that I'm seeing. We do, we have to, we do have to get this wrapped up, so let's go and have them finish it up. And have you guys attack across here. Try and get some wins there. Get those units destroyed. I do want to... Oh, it's time to end the episode, guys. Well, that's unfortunate. We got all those troops cut off and destroyed. That's excellent. Yeah, let's see if we can't get to Leningrad. Um, what I'm going to do is just have him beeline to it. Just go straight over there, guys. Uh, and then this tank unit here is going to beeline to Novgorod. And this division here is going to just go that way. <laughs> just start heading over there towards Moscow. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. I don't really care. As long as we don't get cut off. I mean, even if we do get cut off, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't care. Um, <laughs> because it's not a problem. We're just, uh, there's nobody over here to stop us. I know there's some troops there, but they're, they're not they're not a threat. I'm not worried about them. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to end the episode, though, guys. It's just always ends so goddamn quickly. It sucks. It's not what I want. I would like to continue playing, especially with the way things are going, meaning that we should have the Soviet Union defeated before before long. I mean, it's not going to take us very long to get these guys wrapped up, honestly. Yeah, we're going to have them... Uh, uh, completely capitulated, um, but I do want to uh, look at the the stats here before we do. So, look at the Soviet Union. This is, includes their war against the Japanese, by the way. The Japanese have lost 1.14 million. Uh, we've lost 1,000, or technically 2,000, 1.9 thousand. It's pretty close to 2,000 men. That's it. Uh, we have 20% of the total war participation. Uh, that's because we're sharing it with the, the Japanese, unfortunately. So that means, yeah, that's not, that's not great. I don't really like the fact that we're sharing this uh, at the moment. Uh, taking a look at the Soviet Union. Uh, we have killed 231,000 for our 2,000 that we've lost. Japan has just absolutely wrecked the Soviet Union. They are currently, uh, Mongolia has already capitulated, by the way. Uh, Soviet Union is currently 27% towards capitulation. I imagine that the Japanese are going to be uh, advancing even more rapid because the Soviets are going to be pulling troops off this front uh, to come deal with uh, their shrinking uh, borders over here in the West. Uh, so, so, yeah. Things are, are going very well. Uh, we still haven't gotten that west wall, right? Isn't that what we're currently working on? Yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, so we began the day, the, um, excuse me, I'm just stuttering all over myself. Uh, we began the war 20 days ago, and here we are. Um, I guess it's technically, yes, 21 days, technically. Uh, here we are. Uh, we're already um, marching on many of the key soviet cities because there's been no resistance guys i'm i'm probably just as shocked as probably many of you guys are that that's how this happened uh, obviously not entirely desirable because it's just not uh as fun as it would normally be um but what are you gonna do there's, there's really nothing you can do um I mean, you can't complain about winning, right? Uh, we do need to get some more planes in here, but I'll deal with that in between episodes, guys. And we are moving so rapid that I admit that it would make perfect sense to assign them to our, our armies, but I'm becoming such a, like, uh, I, I don't know, a skeptic of the AI's ability to manage absolutely anything, uh, especially with the, the, the planes. They do such a poor job of it that I'd rather just uh, micromanage that shit, uh, honestly. And we're doing just fine. Um, it won't be long. Uh, of course, they could end up pumping a bunch of troops over here and stopping us. How many troops do they have left out of curiosity? You know, they have 238 to 294 divisions. They got a lot of divisions somewhere. Uh, I think most of those are probably in the east, though. Yeah, there's a lot over here. I don't know. If I had to guess, though, yeah, there's some over here as well. If I had to guess, like, the majority of them are probably, like, right here, moving back and forth between fronts. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. They have a ton of troops over there. Um, so if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. Uh, oh, yes, and I forgot. We've got all this occupied territory that we're not managing because I didn't build a single cavalry division. Wow, the incompetence is, is high with this one. So that's something we're going to have to deal with in this episode, uh, or next episode, is we're going to have to deal with these guys. Oh, that's what I was supposed to pull. The support artillery and the recon. Wow. All right, that's special, guys. Yeah, that's what I meant to pull, guys. I meant to pull these and, and change them over to the field hospitals. Yeah, that's my bad. Or not the field hospitals, excuse me, the MPs. And we don't even have MPs yet. Yeah. Yeah, let's just remove that. Just save that, and that'll help us out a little bit on some of that equipment. I don't know how I... I forgot to do that. All right, guys. If you... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta pump these guys out. These guys could all be out there training. All right. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the episode, leave that like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.